Shabbat Shalom to everyone, those who are here, here and those who are on Zoom. Father, Father, we adore you. We love you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that you have given us. We pray that you will control our mouth and we will give him full reign of our mouth, that whatever we say will come from you and not from us or any other spirit. Father, we love you and we honor you. And we want you here with us tonight in Yeshua's holy name. Amen. Amen. So this, this parasha is Parashat Bayera. Um, and uh, it is Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 to chapter 9, verse 35. Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 25, to chapter 29, verse 21, and Romans chapter 1, verse 4 to 24, sorry, verse 14 to 24. I will read from Romans chapter 9, starting with verse 14. Imken manomar, hayesh it sedek etzel Elohim, chas vechalila. הרי למשה הוא אומר, וחנתי את אשר אכון, ורחמתי את אשר ארחם. לפיכך אין זה בידיו של האדם הרוצה או המתאמץ, כי אם בידי אלוהים המרחם. ואכן אומר הכתוב לפרעה, בעבור זאת העמדתיך, בעבור הראתיך את כוחי, למען ספר שמי בכל הארץ. ובכן הוא מרחם על מי שהוא רוצה, ומקשה את לב מי שהוא רוצה. אזי אתה תאמר לי, מדוע הוא עוד מאשים שהרי מי יעמוד נגד רצונו? אך מי אתה בן אדם כי תתווכח עם אלוהים? האם יאמר מעשה לעושהו מדוע ככה עשיתני? האם מאותו חומר אין יוצר רשאי ליצור כלי אחד לכבוד או כלי אחר לשימוש שאין בו כבוד? ומה אם אלוהים הוא כי חפץ להראות את זעמו ולגלות את כוחו סבל באורך רוח רב כלי זעם מוכנים להרס כדי לגלות את עושר כבודו בכלי חנינה שמראש הכין אותם לכבוד. כלומר אותנו אשר גם קרה לא רק מקרב היהודים אלא גם מקרב הגויים. Rita will read it in English. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I will have compassion. So then it is not in the hands of man's will or effort, but of God who shows mercy. For the scripture says to the Pharaoh, for this very purpose I have raised you up, that I may show my power in you, and that my name may be declared in all the earth. Therefore he has mercy on whom he wills, and whom he wills he hardens. You will say to me then, why does he still blame? For who has resisted his will? But indeed, O man, who are you to argue with God? Will the thing formed say to him who formed it, why have you made me like this? Does, the potter, does not the potter have power over the clay from the same lump to make one vessel for honor and another for dishonor? What if God, wanting to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath prepared for destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had prepared beforehand for glory, even us whom he called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Thank you, Rita. As we read, the Lord said to Moses, I will have mercy on whoever I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whoever I will have compassion. Now, this didn't sit well with the believers in, in uh, Rome, you know, because they couldn't understand. And uh, therefore, Paul was trying to explain to them, uh, you know, that the hands of man or his will 
or all his effort, uh, you know, can, it, like, it, it's not in, in the hand of the man, but in the hand of God who shows mercy. Like, man can do all his effort, and if it is not God's will, he's not going to succeed. So that's why we are to seek the Lord day and night in what we are saying and what we are doing. Man can try to achieve and try to achieve something, but if God does not permit it, he tries in vain. King David wrote in Psalm 127, for, uh, first uh, verse, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. King Solomon wrote, uh, and he gave us advice, my son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let mercy and truth, for, let it not forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. And to find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man, so important to find, to find favor in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Do not be wise in your own eye. Fear the Lord and depart, depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh, to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of your increase. So your barn will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. You know, when we read something in the Bible that we don't understand, it is good to search why God did it the way he did and why he decreed it to be. Um, not to trust on our own understanding and say, how can God do that? How can God uh, allow so many people to die? Uh, you know, or why does he hate this person or that person? He knows, he knows better than us. And so we are not to judge or to trust our own understanding. So the bottom, of, the bottom line is we are to seek the Lord for every decision we make and for everything that we think. For it is written, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Well, I think that's all for today. Shabbat Shalom, and we trust in the Lord and with his decision and with his instructions, and we thank him for giving mercy upon us, <laughs> upon us sinners. <laughs> when we sinned and we repented and we came to him, he gave mercy on us. And we thank you, Lord. Shavuot Tov.